Welcome back at the, of course, Mass Effect Trilogy Let's Play. My name is Gabriel, this is uh, a video for channel Laughing During Gaming, my little channel. Uh, what's news? Uh, what's, what's new? What, uh, what's new? Uh, well, first of all, uh, probably today I'll become a happy owner of Mass Effect 3. Uh, there is a sale on uh, one of the shops. Uh, I don't want to call it because I don't want to make a crypto advertisement or things like that. Uh, in my country, actually, there is a sale uh, with Mass Effect 3 being on on the sale uh, for around a little bit less than ten dollars, I think, which is quite a bargain, considering that the game is uh, two, uh, five, six months. Uh, six months I think no wait the premiere was in Ma in March so it's seven months old uh, which means I'll have a winter played with the, the Ripper invasion things something like that uh, haven't played Mass Effect for quite some time for DLP because of the marathon you know the marathon uh, made this quite uh, typical you know uh, the game uh, there was a lot of episodes, six I believe, in the end. Now what we should do... Well, we're right after the Pharaoh's uh, uh, conference, because we did Pharaoh's. So it would, it would be nice to run around and ask people about stuff. Caden! You're there, nothing to... No, wait, there is something here. Can take it with us. So, Mr. Biotic God, what do you have to say? Sorry, he's not the Biotic God. That's Mass Effect 2. Hmm? Commander, hmm? Do you have a minute? Uh, I don't. No, what, uh, yeah, tell me. What's on your mind, Lieutenant? Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. Hmm. This Saren is trading people to aliens for some kind of lost knowledge. But we can't get backup from the council? <laughs> well, yeah. Sorry, Commander, there's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. <laughs> well, hey, that's true. Uh, well, we tried our best to force them to understand, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, what do you expect me to do about it? I, it's like we, we try, but it's not there. We've got our orders. Belly aching won't change them. Mm -hmm. I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. What? A it's bunch of alien synthetics out, trying to kill us? The frontier was already settled, and the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. <laughs> Zip it, Lieutenant! Uh, you'd wait to look at it. Uh, now let's try Zip it. Let's try to be renegade. I'm sure your letters home are very poignant. Just keep this kind of sentimentality out of the CIC. Yes, ma'am. Sorry to have wasted your time. I'm not on the mission, though. I know it. Yeah, he's probably right. Anything you need, Commander? Tell me about the mission. What's your opinion on the last mission? I'm glad there aren't many aliens like the Thorian. I don't think my stomach could take it. One of my cousins <laughs> has an agribusiness. I was thinking of calling him. Maybe he can get some shipments into Pharaohs. Well, the colony is mean, dead. But, but I killed it! I destroyed the colony. Personal Just input? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Uh-huh. I've wasted enough oh, time for again. now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. Eh, uh, yeah. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Your way, then. There should be a little bit more talk here. Uh, in the fashion, new fashion, let's speak first with the person that we spoke last. To tally. Oh, first of all, let's examine things. Is there anything new here? Doesn't seem like it. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. <laughs> yeah, what's going on? Why are you so cheerful? I'm sleeping much better now. I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. <laughs> I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Starin's our top priority. Oh, a quest. But with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. Is that why you're here? Actually, she's, 
she's right, but you better not jeopardize my mission for the sake of your pilgrimage. I won't. You have my word uh -huh. on that. But I'm not going to just give up on my search. The fleet needs the resources we find on our pilgrimages. Okay. Usually people bring back something like a derelict ship we can use for salvage. But I need something big. Mm. There's a lot expected of me. Oh. A lot of expected of you. Why? That's a good question. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's hmm. one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. Oh, that's something. My father something. is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands. And I'm oh. his only child. I'm responsible for trillions! No, 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 no. Uh, that means you're who? Exactly. So are you some kind of heir to the Quarian throne or something? <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. My father's position isn't hereditary. I'll probably never uh -huh. serve on the Admiralty Board myself. <laughs> True, really? Officially, I'm just the same as any other citizen. But it doesn't uh -huh. work that way in practice. Social. People have always treated me differently uh, because of who situations. my father is. Social situations and social tides uh, tend, to, uh, you tend to work like this. Actually, I had no idea. That's true. And the other qu question is how it's possible that Mike, that in all of those 17 million quarians, I actually bumped into her. Why didn't you tell me this before? Uh -huh. I guess I'm just tired of people judging me because of who my father is. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage, something that will forever change our lives for the better. Hmm. Huh. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. Yeah, that's also typical. Orions, very social people. And we don't want that, do we? What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. And that's We've the problem. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And mm -hmm. all the Geth we run into now are under Saren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. Won't be that easy. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First we stop Saren, then I'll worry about my own problems. Ah, uh, okay, but tell me a little bit about your father, maybe there is something to know more. I what think. was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before mm -hmm. he joined the board, he was a prominent <laughs> figure. People looked to him for leadership. Orions are funny he in this had game. He an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. Hmm. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, That's I sometimes why you're felt so like good. he was pushing me too hard. But now, I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't hmm. owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. And true. About your mother, nah. You were close to your father then? Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? Like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Hmm. Too busy. Typical. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even wow. when he was around, he always Considering seemed the situation, a bit distant, like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, have a I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Not once. It's like he was always weighed <laughs> down by all that responsibility. Tally, my great question I mean, I is... I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it. Not in the usual way. I guess... The best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. Tally, I have one question for you. Tell me how you saw your father smiling when he has a helmet on. Huh. Um, what was I talking about Quarians? Yes, I, I believe Quarians uh, uh, have a little problem, social problem, things like that. Uh, first of all, they, uh, they, they look at too much human, if you ask me. Uh, but the thing is, the situation they are in, you know, moving around in the big fleet, uh, is itself quite difficult. Uh, so, it's quite... yeah. It can uh, reflect on how the 
the social life of Corinth work. I talk about something else. Actually, about nothing. About what? About see ya. See you later. That's some codex and experience for us again. Now, who else? Let's uh, let's think. Hmm, Rex. I don't think he has anything new to say. What do you want, Shepard? Yeah, tell me something about you. Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. <laughs> Elaborate. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. <laughs> I needed to survive. I wanted to leave to Chanka then. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. Uh, oh. That's interesting. What happened? I was betrayed. Hmm. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war. Must have been centuries ago. The other tribes were against us. Okay. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, hmm. and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter That's who. That's the best you do. As long as we were fighting. Mm, and what do you want it? What did you want? I just wanted Jared to <laughs> shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him I to stop this. leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Mm -hmm. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. I support this idea. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. But, of course, when things uh, look like this, there is a problem. Always there's a problem. I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. Mm -hmm. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. Talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. Hmm. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from and where we all go. I'd like to see that place. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. <laughs> it's a place where violence is forbidden by Krogan. That's quite risky. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. And? But when your father invites you to a crush, Great. well, there are Great. some laws that even we hold sacred. Tally is a daughter of an admiral. Uh, Rex is the son of a Krogan warlord. Your father, right? Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. Because he destroyed talked, what? But we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. Mm -hmm. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. Happens. I escaped with my life. But not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. Krogan ways. That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. So hm. long, Rex. Happens. Shepard. So, uh, do we need to do anything with the lockers? I don't think so. Ashley. Commander. <laughs> How are you doing, or can we talk? Basically the same. Well, let's start with this one. What's your opinion of the last mission? Yeah. We lost a lot of the colonists. I don't see how we could have done more, but I still feel bad about it. You're Sorry. Right. That must have been like what you saw in Elysium. <laughs> we saved some. Some of them lived. Given what happened there, I'd call that a win. Hmm. Amen, ma'am. True. Uh, she believes. If you know what I mean. Can we talk then? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? Might be helpful. Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. Not for personal chatter, no. What about? Tell me. Is this duty related, Chief? 
No, ma'am. Well, maybe. Okay, so speak. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. Hmm. With all due respect, Commander. Should they have full access to the ship? <laughs> well, they are aliens, but we... Well, I took them in. There is a way to, uh, if I understand correctly, that you don't need aliens, you can actually play the game through uh, with only Ashley and Caden, which is quite of a... Uh, not a perfect way to do it, because if you do that, uh, you will lose a lot of dialogue, quests, things like that. Uh, they alien, we right? don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the <laughs> most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... <laughs> My hands are tied. Actually, they are not. But you don't trust them, do ya? Or you're out of line. Actually, she is out of line because that's not her duty. Uh, she's not a xenophobe, but she's um, distanced, uh, and I don't like it. I share your concerns, Chief, but I'm under orders. Mm -hmm. Under orders to let aliens gather military intelligence? I can't believe that was the Alliance's intention. <laughs> no, it was not. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Mind your words, yeah. I trust that's not insubordination, I hear. No, ma'am. That's patriotism. Is as it? As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Yeah, that's true, they will. Those are, they are a bunch of jerks! Yeah, the council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... It? Look, if you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's huh. not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. <laughs> Give me a break. This is an Alliance warship, not the Parliament floor. If you're Earth first, vote for the Terra Firma party. Terra huh. Firma is a pack of jackals. The Founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. And you're... I hope my reasons are more rational. We'll see My about that. My father, grandfather, great grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. You did too. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. <sighs> yeah, military family, you say. You're lucky. I lost my family on Mindoir. Are you related to anyone I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. I read oh, about Mindoir. Yeah. The Alliance screwed the pooch on that one. Should have had a bigger garrison. Is that why you're out here? To take the fight to the pirates? Yeah, damn right. No, I serve the Alliance. Mainly I wanted to serve. Protect the Alliance, save lives, you know? Mm. Yeah, Glad truly, I, I saved lives. We out here for a free college education. <laughs> that is a contradiction. I really saved a bunch of lives on, on, on Pharaoh's colony. Ah. Ah, uh, service, too. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. No, Maybe she did, did not. Outside part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. True. One rotation. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. Some... she's hiding something. I hear that in her voice. Ah, shut up. I expect you to keep your family politics to yourself, Chief. This mission will be difficult enough without you picking fights with aliens. Mm-hmm. Aye, aye, Commander. True. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. See ya. Uh, I hope that in Mass Effect 3, that I will find out in a... ...day or two. Or... Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how Ashley evolves. Or... I don't remember. I think she's the one that survived my first playthrough because I really want to play as uh, with my first shepherd. Commander, first. good to see you. Anything new? You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? Oh, another well, quest, not as I think. Much as you, but yeah, I've seen some interesting things. Hmm. No doubt. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? 
I remember the Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That Solarian. case was a bit disturbing. Yeah, why do you mean? What do you mean by disturbing? What happened? Why were you investigating him? Mm -hmm. I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless. Nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts. Organs, mostly. Oh. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab, or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. Is this common? I guess, uh... Black market organs. Interesting. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market. They're not as bad as the psychos. Psychos? I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their mm -hmm. organs. Had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. Tell me. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird hmm. thing was... The match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of <laughs> digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. Mm -hmm. So we went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development. But there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. <laughs> one Krogan testicle? What do you mean? This is a very funny part because it uh, tells us more about... <laughs> Uh, sort of a problem with Krogans. <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would anyone want Krogan testicles? Some Krogan believe that testicle transplants can increase their virility, <laughs> counteract the effects of the genophage. Really? It doesn't work, but that doesn't stop them from buying. They'll pay up to 10,000 credits each. That's 40,000 for a full set. Which means Krogans have four testicles. Somebody's making a killing out there. Uh, what did you do? What'd you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation, to see if I could get them to talk. While I was huh? interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. That's smart. Good thinking. Lackeys are always easier to scare. Exactly. Though in this case it paid off in a different way. One huh. of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. That means he I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body. Some of them fresh. Incisions. That was a big break. These people weren't just Dr. <laughs> Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. That's quite interesting, isn't it? Which means we have... Uh, yeah, that's a freak uh, doing with medicine. So he was growing spare parts in his own employees. Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Oh. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Hmm. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see. That's a bastard, isn't it? I hope he got what he deserved. He's sick. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Don't tell me that. Why not? What the hell happened? Uh, he ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. Mm. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. What? But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. Nah, they were those worried about the bureaucrats hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told <laughs> them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. Yeah. But they wouldn't listen. Ah, from the Shepherd, from Samantha's point of view, and from Gareth's point of view, yeah, they are idiots. No wonder you hated it there. Those idiots just let him fly away. Yes, they did. I went to Palin and told him what I thought of him and his policies. He said if I didn't like it, I could quit. Well, I almost did. <laughs> All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. Yeah, you're right. A few casualties is a small price to pay to stop someone like that. Ruthless. Yeah, exactly. I 
mean, those hostages are <sighs> wishing they died by now anyway. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. What do you know about him then? Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salian? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping mm -hmm. to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart. His idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder yeah. frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give it to me, by the way. Uh... <sighs> True, it's not easy to find a one Solarian in a galaxy full of uh, species and ships. Probably millions and billions of them flying each day from thousands of worlds. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that, but Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Saleon, I want to be there when you find him. True. Now, let me see. Uh, it seems we have a decent amount of things here. Right. 